Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for indeed you are God. We bless your holy name, we magnify you for indeed you are God and there is none like you. You are the I am that I am, you are the ancient of days, you are the lily of the valley, you are the rose of Sharon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. While we wait on you all to jump in, please let us know that you are there and tell us where you are watching from. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration there, Jesus. We thank you for tonight. Uh, just go in and type in and invite, share, 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 and invite others to join you, even as we lift up our voice. Hallelujah, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. We bless your holy name, we magnify you there, Jesus, we praise you. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, have your way, Lord God, have your way. Glorify yourself, or pray, do only what you can do there, God. Do only what you can do there, God. We're coming to you. Let us know where you are watching from. Please invite and do share, share, share. We are glad to have you tonight, even as you tune in and prayer meetings tonight. We just want to bless the name of Jesus. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and invite others. Go ahead and invite others to be a part of this prayer meeting. We thank you, awesome Jesus. We bless you. We honor you. We magnify you. Glorify yourself in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Be be thou magnified, be thou exalted, dear Father. We thank you for who you are. We magnify you for who you are. Glorify yourself, we pray, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just go ahead and share and join us this tonight. Uh, even as we call upon the name of Jesus, uh, even as we lift up the name of Jesus, go ahead and share, go ahead and share, go ahead and invite your friends, invite your families, invite your friends to join us on this prayer meeting tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. So go ahead, my brothers and sisters, go ahead and share, 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 share in the name of Jesus. Brother Daryl, we want to thank you for joining us all the way from Antigua. Sister Tanisha Williams, Thank you for joining us all the way from Antigua. We bless you. We bless you. We bless the name of Jesus. We ask to God that God will take preeminent control in the name of Jesus. Be thou exalted, dear Father. Glorify yourself. We pray in the name of Jesus. Just go ahead and join us tonight and join us tonight and let us know where you are calling from, let us know where you are where you are watching from as we continue to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Be thou exalted, Father, be thou glorified, be thou magnified. Glorify yourself, we pray that God in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. Be thou magnified, be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. We thank you for who you are. We bless your holy name. Thou art worthy, O God, and thou art worthy, O God. Please tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in. Even as you're about to start prayer meeting tonight, tune in, tune in, tune in. In the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name, dear Father. We thank you for another time time, another season to come lift up your name, another time to come worship your name, another time to come bless you tonight, we honor you there Father, in the name of Jesus even as your people are signing in, even when people are coming on, we ask oh God Father that you will touch them, in the name of Jesus, just go ahead and share invite your friends, tell them to let tell them prayer meeting is started, it's 7.30 already, go ahead and share, even as we give them a few more minutes to jump in in the name of Jesus Father, we ask oh God that you will touch lives tonight in the name of Jesus, we bless the name of the Lord. We worship you, dear Father. We thank you. We magnify you. We bless your holy name. Glorify yourself. We pray in the name of Jesus. We just want to thank the name of the Lord. We just want to thank Jesus for he is good and his message endure it forever. We bless your holy name. We magnify you. We praise you, dear Father. We worship you for you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the ancient of days. You are the lily of the valley. Thank you so much. This is Sunday from Antigua. Thank you for joining us tonight uh, in the name of Jesus brother Alvin all the way from Montserrat uh, oh Lord God Almighty we want to thank you for joining us tonight uh, just go ahead and share and invite families invite friends uh, invite loved ones to join us even as we lift up the name of Jesus tonight uh, in the name of Jesus we bless you the father we thank you for tonight uh, even as your people log in tonight, Father, we ask God that your hand will rest upon them. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, dear Father. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you tonight, we love you tonight, we love you tonight. Praise the Lord, we love you tonight, we love you tonight, we love you tonight. Heavenly Father, glorify yourself, have your way, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for another time. 
worship another opportunity to come lift up your name another opportunity to come worship your holy name to come bless you to come magnify you come and extol you exul you in the name of Jesus oh God we thank you for the life of your people even as they join us tonight father that you will touch them Look, go ahead and share go ahead and like go ahead and invite friends and family tell them to log in to go ahead and share oh God put this as a watch party whatever you want to do but allow people to be a part of this wonderful section of prayer even as we agree in prayer, even as we intercede uh, and we lift up our lives before the Lord, uh, go ahead and share and invite anybody you want to invite. Uh, tell them to be a part of this prayer meeting tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Onita Banton, we want to welcome you. Let us know where you are watching from. Uh, we give you praise there, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Go ahead and share this video. Share this, share this broadcast. Go ahead and share in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you for joining us tonight, even as we go into prayers. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. At this time, we're going to sing one worship song. Hallelujah, we'll bless your holy name. Let your living waters flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation. That has troubled my mind All my cares and burden unto thee I roll Let your living water flow over my soul Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind all my cares and burden unto you I roll let your living water flow over my soul let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burden unto you, I will call him Father, Father. friends and loved ones. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burden unto you I roll. Let your living waters flow over my 
inspire somebody tonight. Listen, only Jesus can, so, can help us. Only Jesus can sustain us. The Bible says, cast all your cares upon me because I care it for you. Listen, the only person we can trust in this life is Jesus. The only person we can have confidence in is in Jesus. That is why I'm trying to stir you up. That is why I'm trying to inspire you singing, I have confidence in you, Jesus. It doesn't matter what my situation is right now. It doesn't matter what is going on around the world. I have confidence in you. No matter what, any day, any time, come rain, come sunshine, come mountains, come valleys, I have confidence in you. We're going to do that one more time. I just want to encourage somebody tonight. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what the situation is like. I have confidence in you. The Bible says this is the confidence we have. Oh God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I have confidence in you, Simon Blair. God bless you, Jesus. I have confidence in you any day, any time. I have confidence in you, Jehovah. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you any day, any time. I have confidence in you, Jehovah. Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Of all my situation that has troubled my mind, all my cares and burden unto you, I roll. Father, Father, Father. Jesus, 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 Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Father, we give you. 
you praise. Jesus, we call upon your name. He says, all that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We'll call upon your name, Jesus. There is no other name greater than your name, Jesus. We'll call you Jesus. We'll call you awesome, dear Father. We'll bless your holy name, for you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of Lord. You are the ancient of days. You are the lily of the valley. You are the rose of Sharon. We'll bless you tonight. We'll honor you. We'll magnify you, for you are God all by yourself. You see that upon the throne and the earth you make your footstool we'll call you Jehovah Nisi Jehovah Jireh the one that come true for us the one that provides for us the one that sustains us the one that protects us our all sufficiency our source we want to thank you tonight we want to bless you Father we thank you because we know that you are already here even as we are called upon you Father we ask tonight oh God, that you will meet your people at the point of their need that even as this prayer section go on even as we pray and agree as for touching anything Father in the name of Jesus, I decree, oh God, that you will meet them at the point of their need. Lord God, I, 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 I pray, oh God, that you will give them testimonies, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you will glorify yourself in their life. Holy Spirit, I decree, oh God, that you will locate them right now, wherever they are, even as your heart is turned to you. For the Bible says unto him that answer a prayer shall all flesh come. So because we know you answer a prayer, so we'll come before you, dear God. We come before you, dear God. We come before you, oh God. We come boldly before your throne of grace to find mercy and grace in time of need. We have come through you, oh God, through the blood of Jesus Christ. That you will look upon us, oh God, and you will have mercy on us. That your grace, oh God, will speak for us. That the blood Lord of Jesus will speak for us tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, even as we lift up our voice and prayer that our prayers, oh God, uh, our sacrifice tonight will come unto you uh, as a sweet smelling salve of our Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, we thank you, Father, for it is already done. Uh, that whatever we ask in the name of Jesus, you will do. Uh, that the Father may be glorified in the Son, even as we ask anything in your name. Uh, we'll pray tonight that it is already done. Uh, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. I bring greetings to you all in the precious name of Jesus. I am so excited to be agreeing and be praying with you all tonight. I am glad where we can call upon the name of the Lord because we know that God answers prayer. So we're going to call upon him tonight in the name of Jesus. At this time, I want you to go ahead and share and invite your friends, invite your family, even as we go into prayers tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, Lord God Almighty, we're going to be praying tonight, oh God, we ask of God that the power of God uh, we take over this place tonight uh, that the glory of God will take over this place tonight uh, in the name of Jesus uh. hallelujah I just want to wish everybody happy Easter we are still in the season of Easter yesterday was Easter Monday we're going to be praying still in the season of Easter now I want you to turn your Bibles with me to Luke chapter 24 we are going to be praying CFDM we know how we do it right so turn your Bibles with me to Luke chapter 24. My focus is going to be in verse, verse 6. The Bible says he is not here. Matthew chapter 24 verse 6. He says he is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Now if we look at the scripture, we're talking about it was on a Sunday. When Mary, uh, Mary Magdalene went to look for Jesus at the tomb, at the tomb, and when he, when she got there, the angel was already there. And when she looked, she saw that the, the tomb was open; it was empty. Jesus wasn't there. So the angel told her, "Who are you looking for? Whoever it is that you are looking for is already risen." It makes me understand that. It makes me understand that they were expecting to see Jesus when they left him. Now Jesus told them, he said, they destroy this temple and in three days I am going to build it back up. But they didn't understand that he was speaking about his body. He was talking about his death and his resurrection. Because you have to understand that he was buried, he was crucified Good Friday. And the Bible says that the third day he rose again from the dead. So when Mary Magdalene came in the tomb, she expected to see the tomb still sealed and Jesus in the same position as he was buried. No, 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 no. The devil is a liar. So you have to understand the troubles of this life where people think that they left you. 
Trust me, you are not there where they used to leave you. Now we're going to be praying tonight. The Bible says, you see, you see, look at verse 5. You see, and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, and they said unto him, Why seek ye the living amongst the dead? Why do you seek for the living amongst the dead? They were expecting to see Jesus in the tomb. And glory to God, Jesus resurrected. So our prayer for tonight is going to be the troubles of life, the enemy of my destiny. You will not meet me where you left me. You will not see. See, people expect you to be down. People expect you to be out. People expect you not to, not to make it. Trust me. The Bible says because he lives, we can face tomorrow. So I come to announce to you that where people left you, they will not meet you there. Why? Because Jesus has resurrected. The Bible says the angel asked, he is not here. He is risen. So it means that Mary Magdalene did not see him where she left him. Now when people betray us, when people stab us in the back, when people think that we will not amount to nothing, ha ha ha, you have to laugh at them and tell them, listen, this challenge of life, where you left me, you will not find me there. Where you left me, you will not meet me. Where you abandoned me, you will not meet me there. So we're going to be praying tonight. I want you to lift up your hand because tr tr trust me, the heart of man is desperately wicked. The, the, the world is a wicked place that people tend to bring people down and feel that it is okay to glory in the downfall of other people. Now Mary Magdalene went to the room expecting to see Jesus still laying there, there still wrapped up. In what it was wrapped up in the and the tomb still closed because when she got there she was surprised but we left him buried but we we'll let the tomb covered how come he's no longer there and the angel told him he is not here he is risen so we're going to be praying tonight the troubles of this life every enemy of my destiny where you left me, you will not find me. So hold it up your hand and say wherever you are with me, say Father in the name of Jesus. Sir. As I pray tonight, uh, the trouble of life and the challenges of this life, uh, where you meet me, where you let me, you will not find me. Where you let me, you will not find me. Where you call for me, I will not be there where you left me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, people might have looked down on us, challenges of life might have troubled us, uh, but we want to say because you live, uh, because you are risen, oh God, uh, because you are alive, oh God, uh, where the challenges of life kept us, we will not be found there. Where the enemies left let us I bring my home before you are. I bring my family before you are. And I declare, oh God, that the challenges of this life will not meet me where they left me. The troubles of this life, the enemies of my soul, the enemies of my destiny, they will not meet me where they left me. In the name of Jesus, because you are risen, because you rose from the grave, because the stone was rolled away, they will not meet me where they left me. In the name of Jesus, I am not that same person because you live. I am not that shallow person anymore because you leave all my fears are gone I am no longer fearful I am no longer scared I am no longer frightened I am no longer discouraged I am no longer oppressed I am no longer depressed because you are risen oh God every challenges of life I am not where you used to leave me I am not who I used to be I refuse to be the same because Christ leave I can face tomorrow because I leave all my fears are gone Open your mouth and begin to pray for your family uh, and pray to that God. Uh, the area my family is right now, uh, the enemy will not meet us there by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we refuse to remain where we are uh, because of the finished work of Christ on Calvary. Uh, we refuse to be in the same level. Uh, we refuse to be in the same place. Uh, we refuse to be stagnant. Uh, we refuse to be lonely. Uh, we refuse to be depressed. Uh, we refuse to be oppressed. Uh, we refuse to be discouraged. Uh, we refuse to be suicidal. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we refuse fear. We refuse worry in the name of Jesus because Christ leave every challenges of this life will not bring us down every situation in this life will not bring us down because of oh God he that is in the he that is in us is greater than he that is in the water but the greater one in us put us above every obstacle every challenges in this life every troubles in this life Lord God because you are risen because you are no longer in the grave we refuse to be defeated 
dead. We refuse to live a mediocre life. We refuse to be horrible. We refuse to allow the devil to trample upon us. And we decree on God that the challenges of this life will not meet us where they left us. The enemies of our soul will not meet us at the point where we left us to die. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because you live, because you reign, because you died on the cross, Lord God, we will not die anymore. Because you became sick for us, we refuse to be sick. Because you became poor for us, we refuse to be poor. When the enemy left us, we will no longer be here. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask the Lord that when the enemy left you, we will no longer be there. That the plans, the thoughts of the enemy over your life, the purpose of the enemy over your life will become not. Every you spoken word over your life will not come to pass because Christ is risen. Because he's not in the same place where they left him. Because he's risen. The challenges of life will not meet you where he left you. Wherever the challenges of life puts you down, the enemy of your soul puts you down. Situ- in life put you down. Circumstances in life beat you up. They will not meet you in that area. They will not look at you. Concerning your children. Concerning your homes. Concerning your family right now. In the name of Jesus. Come and come and come and don't give up on me. Because Christ is risen. You can face tomorrow. Oh God for he that is in you. Put you above every circumstances. Every challenge is in life. In the name of Jesus. Power of God. Because you are risen. Take the out of the dungeon, take them out of the beat of God, take them out of the sadness, take them out of the pain, the sorrow, the sickness, oh God, that poverty, in the name of Jesus, because you are no longer in the grave, because you are risen, oh God, at the creed that they are coming out, oh God, at the creed that they are coming out, oh God, at the creed that they are coming out, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, that the enemy will not find them where they put them, anyone that is in the cage, the enemy will not find them. For your voices in Isaiah, that even the prayer of the mighty shall be delivered. Oh God Almighty, look at our prayer that everyone that has been caged, everyone that has been a captive of the enemy, are decreed by your resurrection, oh God. They shall no longer remain in the cage, they shall no longer be where the enemy kept them. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty. I decree, oh God, that you will stretch your hands to deliver your people. Stretch your hands to heal your people. Stretch your hands to save your people. Wherever they need you the most, wherever the situation of life has brought them down, has defeated them, and beat them low, oh God, that even your self-esteem is down. Good God Almighty, because you live, and we know who holds tomorrow. Lord God, you know everything. I decree, oh God, that they are coming up because you reign because you are risen they are coming up they are not where the enemy wants them to be they are not where they used to be they are not where they used to be they are not where they wish to be you are moving them forward because you reign God and because you are risen in the name of Jesus God, the challenges of life will not keep them down. The situation of this life will not keep them down. The enemies of their soul will not bring them down. In the name of Jesus, because you are risen, every enemy of their soul will not bring them down. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, the Bible says, for he came to seek and to save the lost. Because he died, he rose again, and he's resurrected, and he's ascended to heaven. The Bible says that he make an intercession for us right now, good God Almighty, that you will intercede on your behalf. You become the advocate, the mediator, oh God. You make intercession for them. For your word says, we don't have an high priest that is not touched by the feeling of our infirmities. Lord God Almighty, you know what they are going through. You know what their situation is like. You know what the enemy is showing after them. But because you reign, because you are risen, they are not where they used to be. What the enemy meant for them, oh God, you will turn it around for good. But it was saying, oh God, in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, for we know, oh God, that all things work together for good to them that love God because they love you, God. Because I love you, God. They will not remain where they used to be. 
Oh God, they will not sleep with you when your enemy has left them, oh God. The Bible says, oh God, in the new, in the kingdom of this world, new, they will not have crucified the Lord of glory because they didn't know what you have in mind. They crucified him and taught that they had the victory. But the Bible says that Jesus went to hell and he made an open shore of the devil, triumphing over him in this. He took the keys of the hell, death and the grave, and you said all authority in heaven and earth has been given unto me here. Therefore go. And so with this mandate and decree that when the enemy left your children, they will not be in that position. When the enemy of their soul left them, when the challenges of life are beating them, has left them or got to die. Lord God, that you will give them a God. You will sustain them because you are reason, God. God, you remind us of the of the of the story of the of the school Samaritan. The Bible says uh, the man was going to Jerusalem uh, and while he was going, uh, he fell among thieves uh, and they beat him and left him, oh God, uh, and they took his clothes uh, and they robbed him and left them half dead. Uh, but the good Samaritan came, uh, burned up his wound with oil and wine. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, wherever your people need help, uh, I pray, oh God, uh, that you will show up for them uh, even when the situation looks dead, uh, even when the situation looks half dead, uh, because you are risen. You will make all grace abound to your people in the name of Jesus because you are risen. You will make all grace abound to them. You will meet them, oh God. When men are saying no, you will say yes. When men say there is no way out, they will say yes. The Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way. When men are saying that there is a casting down, oh God, this will be their testimony, oh God, that there is a lifting up, that they will testify like the children of Israel when the Lord turned around our captivity. We were like them that dreamt. Hallelujah. Because you are risen, oh God. They will not be defeated by the enemy. They will not be left for dead. In the name of Jesus. They will not die premature. Their family will not die premature. Their children will not die premature. Their businesses will not die premature. Their lives will not die premature. Their marriage will not die premature. I decree that they are coming out of it by the power of the Holy Ghost. They are coming out of it by the power of the Holy Ghost. They are coming out of it by the power of the Holy Ghost. They are coming out of it by the power of the Holy Ghost. The enemy will not leave them up dead. The enemy will not eat up their labor. They will not bring forth for trouble. In the name of Jesus, I decree God with your mighty hand. Lord God, that you will watch over them because you are risen. Paul says, it is on only earth that we have hope. We have our own men most miserable uh, because we know you live, uh, because we know you reign, uh, because we know you are risen, oh God, uh, at the creed, oh God, uh, that every power of darkness, uh, every trouble of light, uh, every enemy of their destiny, uh, every challenges of the sky uh, will not meet them where they let them, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and I think that they are coming out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we well, thank you, Lord. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. I thank you because they are coming out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I thank you because they are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. I decree that your people will not remain the same by reason of your resurrection, by reason of you being alive, oh God, because you are no longer in the grave. We are excited for you, reign. Death could not hold you down in the name of Jesus. Jesus, because you live, we have confidence in you, oh God, that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we actually even imagine according to the power that working in us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. I am just getting warmed up. Turn with me, flip your Bibles to Matthew. Hey, Jesus, I give you praise. I give you praise. Hallelujah. We are just excited to pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 28. Woo. Glory to God. <clears throat> hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Go ahead and share. Oh God, prayer meeting is getting hotter by the power of the Holy Ghost. I know that angels are here. They are beckoning to our prayers. They are doing what they on our behalf. In the name of Jesus, attend the Lord because lives are getting transformed. People are getting healed. Oh God, restoration is coming to people. Power is coming to people. Oh God, every discouragement is being rebuked by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 28. Look at verse 2. We are still talking about the resurrection of Christ. Look at verse 2. Let me start from verse 1 so that you get a concept of what I'm trying to say. He says, in the end, in the end of the Sabbath, Matthew chapter 28, my people. He said, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. Verse 2, and behold, there was a great earthquake. Hallelujah. He said, behold, there was a what? There was a great earthquake. Glory to God. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, Jesus is the only person that came back to life that is still alive. Let me tell you about it. Remember when Jesus raised down the woman's son when she was going to bury him. And the said Jesus was not the only one that came back to life. But well, he was the only one that came back to life and remained alive. He was the only one that came back to life and did not die again. When he said to Lazarus, Lazarus, comfort. The Bible says they rolled away the stone. And he said, Lazarus, comfort. And the Bible says Lazarus came forth. Uh, but after Lazarus was resurrected, uh, trust me, he died again. Um, he died again. Uh, when the woman that was going to bury her son uh, on the way, and Jesus says, uh, come to life. Uh, and the boy came back to life. Trust me, he died again. Uh, when Jesus resurrected Jairus' daughter, she died again. Uh, but Jesus is the only person uh, that did not die again. Uh, when he rose from the dead, the Bible says that the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. And came and rolled back the stone from the door. He not only rolled back the stone. The Bible says that he sat upon the stone. It means for the angel to sit on the stone. It means the stone cannot be rolled back. It cannot be rolled back. So we're going to pray. our prayer point is going to be this. Anywhere. Anywhere your wealth. Your health. Your children. Your marriage. Anywhere. The enemy has, has, has rolled the stone on it. You roll away the stone and angel of the Lord sit upon it. So you have to understand when I, I give you strategic prayer points. Now because when a stone is rolled out, it can be rolled back in. Now because the angel was sitting upon the stone, the stone cannot be rolled back in. Sometimes in our life we get a breakthrough. That is when the stone is rolled away. But the enemy comes to steal our breakthrough. It means he rolled in back the stone and blocked the breakthrough and blocked the promotion and blocked the open door. That is what the enemy comes to do. The Bible says the enemy comes to, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The Bible says when the enemy, when the angel rolled away the stone, he sat on it. It means when he sat on it, no other person can close the stone, can close the tomb. No other person can roll back the stone. Sometimes in our life, we receive breakthrough testimony. Have you ever wondered why somebody will testify that God did so and so for them? That what they are testifying about, the enemy came and attacked them based on the testimony they received. Have you never found people like that? They are so good. God did a wonderful thing for them. And the moment they testify, they begin to receive attack. That is what it means of the stone to be rolled back into position. Sometimes we get a breakthrough and we think somebody is coming through for us. God is going to meet people to locate us, to help us, uh, to be there for us. Because the truth is, God blesses them, but he uses men. God blesses you through men to men. God will not come down from heaven to bless you, but he uses men to bless you. Now, when the blessing comes, what the enemy comes to do is what to steal the blessing. It means that when the Lord gave you a blessing, the enemy comes back uh, to roll back that stone so that you don't receive that blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says the angel of the Lord came. He not only rolled back the stone, he sat upon it. As he sat upon it, nobody could 
throw back the stone. Nobody could close back the tomb. Nobody could even touch the stone. So we're going to pray, Lord, anywhere the enemy has touched my wealth, touch my children, touch my family, my business, every stone, every stone over my business, over my family, over my children, over my destiny, every stone of poverty, I roll it away, angel of the Lord, sit upon it. Hallelujah. Because when the angel of the Lord sits upon him, no devil in hell can be able to bring back your trouble. When the Lord delivers you, no devil in hell can be able to bring back that, that demon into your life. When the Lord gives you a breakthrough, no more devil in hell can be able to steal that breakthrough. When the door, Lord opens a, a door for you, when the door gives you a blessing, when the door gives you an open door, a breakthrough, a promotion, a, 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 an elevation, when the Lord gives you a blessing, a favor, no devil in hell we we'll be able to roll it back. So we are going to be praying tonight. My God, my God, anywhere, every stone of my marriage, every stone in the door of my marriage, in the door of my family, in the door of my children, in the door of my family, in the door of my breakthrough, in the door of my job, my profession, I roll it away, angel of the Lord, sit upon it. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and say, say, my father, my father, even as I pray, anywhere my wealth is, anywhere my family is, anywhere my children is, anywhere my breakthrough is, my open door is, Lord God Almighty, I roll away the stone, angel of the Lord, sit upon it. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, Lord God, my breakthrough, my family, my children, my home, my family, every struggle in my family, every Every stone of struggle, every stone of disappointment, every stone of challenges, every stone of lack, every stone of poverty, I roll it away. Angel of the Lord, sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Angel of the Lord, sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Angel of the Lord, sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Anywhere my family, my marriage is, anywhere the enemy is hiding, is within a stone over my breakthrough, over my family, over my open door. Over my children, over my destiny, over my career, over my ministry, over my life, over my over my over my future. Anywhere the enemy roll the stone, Lord God Almighty, I roll back the stone. Angel of the Lord, sit upon the stone, 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 sit upon the stone. In the name of Jesus, because the Bible says, affliction shall not rise up against the second time. Every affliction of pain, he shall not rise up against the second time. Every stone of affliction, every stone of worry, every stone of, of, of lack, every stone of pain, every stone of sickness, every stone of diseases, every stone of discourage, every stone of misfortune, every stone of bad luck. Angel of the Lord, run it away and sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Every stone of God that is bringing trouble in my life, Lord God Almighty. I run it away, angel of the Lord, sit upon the stone, sit upon the stone, sit upon the stone, sit upon the stone, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask the Lord to sit upon every stone that gives you trouble. Every stone in every area of your life. Every stone that hinders your prayer life. It could be your spiritual walk with God. It could be your relationship with God. It could be your wealth. It could be your health. It could be your children. It could be your destiny. It could be your marriage. It could be your professional job. It could be your, your business. Whatever it is. Angel of the Lord. I run away the stone. Sit upon it in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not have a love loss over me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, O oh God. Every stone of endurance is that induce my hearing from the Lord, my induce my relationship, my walk with the Lord, my relationship with others. Oh God, every stone that hinders my wealth, my health, my protection, my provision, my sustenance, my sufficiency, my favor, my blessing, my open door. My breakthrough, I run it away. Angel of the Lord, sit upon it in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, Angel of the Lord, sit upon.
upon it. Every stone of trouble, every stone of pain, every stone of challenges, I roll it away. Every stone, every scale in my eyes, oh God, I roll it away. Everything that is a pain in my life, everything that's a pain in my butt, everything that is a pain in my home, in a pain in my situation, wherever it is located, angel of the Lord, I roll it back. Sit upon it. Sit upon it. Sit upon it. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord God, every stone that hinders my relationship with you, every stone that hinders my walk with you, every stone that hinders my relationship with others, every stone that hinders my breakthrough, that hinders my future, that hinders my destiny, that hinders my career, that hinders my life, that hinders my, my birth, that hinders my pregnancy, that hinders my destiny, everything that has to do with me, my home, my children, my husband, my wife, my career, my education, my business, my job, my blessing, my favor, my breakthrough, every stone that hinders me, Lord God Almighty, I roll it away, angel of the Lord, sit down upon it, 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 in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, you're what saying, and the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. And so, therefore, God, I give you every troubles of my life for your what said as to cast my cares upon you because you care for me. And so, God, I bring you every challenges I face, every situation, every circumstances, every troubles of my life, every troubles of my destiny. Oh, God, I roll back the stone, every stone. Oh no God, uh, that weighs me down. Uh, those things that does easily beset me. Uh, those weights that I'm carrying. Uh, my God, my God, uh, roll the stone back uh, and sit upon it. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every stone that in us for life, uh, from seeing my way, uh, from making me think straight, uh, blocking my, my mindset, uh, every mind control, uh, every block in my mind, uh, in my faculty, uh, in my hurt, uh, in, my, in my blood work, uh, in my body, uh, in my destiny, uh, in my nerves, my, my arteries, uh, my liver, uh, my brain, uh, my heart, uh, my kidneys, uh, my gut, uh, oh God, uh, every stone that hinders my health, uh, oh God, fire of God, uh, angel of the Lord, uh, roll it back uh, and sit upon every stone uh, that hinders my walk with you, uh, that hinders the normal functioning of my body, uh, of my brain, uh, of my intuition, uh, of my intellect, uh, of my will. Wheel on my emotion, angel of the Lord, running back and sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Sit upon it, God. Sit upon it because affliction will not rise up against a second time. I refuse to be hindered, I refuse to be set back, I refuse to be stagnant. I will be to remain in the position I'm in. Lord God, the Bible says, Oh God, and there was a great earthquake. But the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. Lord God, concerning every situation of my life, angel of the Lord, descend upon it. Every second that's in my life, angel of the Lord, descend upon my situation. Oh God, you was not that you will fight for me, and I shall hold my peace. But the enemy I see today, I shall see them no more. Lord God, every situation of my life, Look, let the earthquake of God shake everything in my life and God descend upon it. Angel of the Lord descend upon it. Begin to fight my battles. Begin to take over every situation. Everything that needs to be shaken to be shaken. Everything that needs to be uprooted to be uprooted. Everything that needs to be lifted to be lifted over. But the Bible says that every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. Look at everything in me that hinders my wealth, that hinders my breakthrough. Every stone of God that in that's the reality of my life. Oh God, angel of the Lord, descend upon it, roll it away, and sit up. Roll it away and sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, roll it away and sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Roll it away, angel of the Lord, descend upon it. Roll it away and sit upon it. Every endurance of my life, every endurance of my soul, just as you descended from on high, just as there was a great earthquake, I command by the power of the Holy Ghost, I roll back every sickness, I roll back every pain. Every stone of hindrance, every stone 
that hinders my wealth, uh, my protection, uh, my provision, uh, my health. Uh, look on and roll it away. Uh, angel of the Lord, uh, sit upon it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for affliction shall not rise up against the second time uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty, the angel of the Lord will descend upon it. He will come and roll back every situation, roll back every stone, every challenges, every circumstances, every situation, every stone of backlog, every stone of delay, every stone of disappointment, every stone of bad luck, every stone of challenges, every stone of ill fortune, every stone of misfortune, every stone of misconception. The angel of the Lord will roll it away and sit upon it tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God Almighty, that you will roll it away and sit upon it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, roll it, roll it over and sit upon it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we'll give you praise. God, will thank you because affliction will not rise up against the second time. Oh God, we'll be sealed and you will fight our battles for us. And the situation, the circumstances, the challenges we'll see today, the difficulty we'll see today, the misfortune we'll see today, we shall see no more because they are rolled away and the angel of the Lord will sit upon it in the name of Jesus. We come against every cycle of occurrence. We come against every pattern uh, with the crypto night uh, that a pattern is stopped uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, for your voices according to Daniel 4 17 uh, he said this matter is by the decree of the watchers uh, and the demand of the war by the Holy One uh, to the intent that the living may know that the most high God uh, rule it in the kingdom of men uh, I decree oh God uh, that every affliction uh, every pattern uh, every circle in the life of your people oh God uh, it is rolled away uh, right now by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, angel of the Lord uh, sit upon it in the name of Jesus sit upon it God in the name of Jesus thank you Abba Father oh God we give you praise hallelujah 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 we give you praise in the name of Jesus we give you praise Oh God, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am loving this by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, strengthen me tonight. Hallelujah. If you are still there with me, say amen, 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 amen. God is good, God is good, God is good. Continue to share and to like in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now turn with me to Mark chapter 14. We are still praying. Mark chapter 14. Turn with me to Mark chapter 14. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, grab your Bibles with me and turn to Mark chapter 14. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. 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 Roll it over. Yes, Jesus. Roll it over and sit upon it, angel of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Roll it over and sit upon it. In the name of Jesus. Turn with me to Mark chapter 14. Look at verse 36. Mark chapter 14, verse 36. Mark chapter 14, verse 36. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto you. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but what thou will. Nevertheless, but what that will. Oh, hallelujah. See, if it was in own Jesus' will, he wouldn't have gone to the cross. If Jesus had to take it upon himself and did his own thing, he would not have died upon that cross. That is why he said, Father, listen, I know all things are possible with you, but not my will. I am giving you my will. I am giving you my will. I know I, I am fearful. I am scared. I am frightened for what is ahead of me. Oh God, I am, I am, I don't know what is going on, but I am, I don't think I can be able to face what is coming ahead of me. But you know what, God? I give it to you. I give it to you. I give it to you. For with you, all things are possible. But right now, I give you my will. And let your will be done. Sometimes in our lives, we tend to do our own thing. 
We tend to go our own way. Trust me. If you look at the story of Elisha, when Elijah threw the, threw the cloak on Elisha, the Bible says that Elisha left everything and followed Elijah. Because he said, you know what? This man of God came to me. But right now, my will is to continue my business. Because I am, a, I am, a, I am an entrepreneur. I have ox. I have, I have animals. I am a businessman. My will is to do my business. But when the man of God came, I had to submit my will to the will of God. Most of the time it is so hard that we walk in our own will. We walk in our own, in the, in the imagination of our own mind. We want to do our own thing, but we forget that we don't own ourselves. We have to do the will of the Father. That is why Romans chapter, Romans chapter 12, they say, I beseech you, brethren, that you what? That you be not what conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I beseech you, brethren, by the what? By the message of the Lord. My God, my God. Sometimes it is so easy to walk according to the dictates of this world. Sometimes it is so easy to do our own thing. If Jesus did his own thing, he would have gone on the cross. We would not have been saved today. That is why Jesus says, he said, I come to do the will of him that sent me. And not just say my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish it. It's to do the will of my father. That is why the Bible says those that love him, those that truly say, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. He says those that love me, that does what, that do the will of my father. So many times we want to do our own will. So many times we want to walk in our own ways. But this is a time we have to submit to the will of God. This is a time we have to walk according to the leading of the Most High God. Sometimes the decision we make, sometimes we are good, Lord, I want to do this, this is what I want to do, this is how I want to do, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to achieve this. And God just said, no, 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 no. <clears throat> that is not what I have in mind for you. That is not what I have in mind for you. This is what I have in mind for you. This is my will for you. This is my desire for you. This is my plan for you. But we have to learn to give it up and say, Father, not my will, but your will be done. What if God sees to you and tells you, listen, all you've been, all the school you have gone, it's good that you went to school, but you leave the school and do what I have called you to do. What would you do? Would you be like Jesus and say, Father, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. So many things, you know yourself, you know what God has called you to do. We walk in the imagination of our, we want to do our own thing. Because at the end of the day, if we don't walk according to the will of God, we will not make it in this life. In this time and in this season, we need to walk according to his will. We need to follow his footstep. We need to follow his direction. We need to follow the leading of God upon our life. Imagine if Jesus did not endure that cross. If Jesus did not die on that cross, if Jesus did not give his life for you, where would you have been? What would you have, where would you have been? What would have become of you if Jesus did not die for you? Where would you be if he didn't give you the Holy Ghost? Lord God, help me to walk according to your will. Not my will, but your will be done. Too many times we walk in our own way. We walk in our own ways. That is why the Bible says there is a way that seems to write unto a man. That seems to write unto a man. But the end of it is destruction. Is destruction. But if you can't walk according to the ways of God, you will not be destroyed. He said, my thoughts towards you. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways are higher than your ways. My plans that I have for you are of good and not of evil. To so give you a hope of future and an expected end. Why don't you walk according to the will and the leading of God upon your life? So walking according to your own mentality. We're going to be praying to that Lord in this season. Help me to walk according to your will. That is going to be the prayer point tonight. Father, in this season. Help me to be serious with you. Help me to be able to walk in your will. Help me to be able to love you with not just all my heart, with all my soul, with all my might. In the name of Jesus. And help me to walk according to your will. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Even as I pray, Lord God, not my will, but your will be done. Help me in every area of my life to walk according to your will. To walk according to your leading. 
to walk according to your direction in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray because the Bible says that the step of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Bible says turn neither to the east, the right, nor to the left. But you will hear a still small voice behind you say, this is the way walk in it. Lord, help me to walk in your will in this season. Help me to walk in your will in this season. Help me to walk according to your leading in this season. Help me to walk according to your ways in this season. Help me to walk in the direction you want me to walk. Let me not walk in the imagination of my mind. Let me not walk according to my own will. Let me not walk according to my own direction. Let me not walk according to the vanity of my mind. But help me to walk in your will. Open your mouth and ask the Lord. Lord God, hold my hands. Hold my hands. And help me to walk in your will. Help me to walk in your will. Help your will be done in my life. Concerning every area of my life. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus. Let your will be done. Lord God, help me to walk in the direction of your will. For Jesus says, my meat is to do the will of him that has sent me. And to finish it. Lord God, that we may open our mouth and say that our meat, our desire, our passion, our zeal, our, our intuition is to do your will, oh God, to walk according to your will. For your word says that them that truly love you are them that keep your will and them that keep your commandment. Lord God, teach me to walk according to your will. Help me to walk according to your will. Not in my own ways, not in my own desires, not in my own passion, but there is a way that seemed right, but the end of it is destruction. Lord God, I don't want to be destroyed by the imagination of my mind. I don't want to be conformed to this world, but I want to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Lord God, renew my mind that I may be able to know what your perfect will for my life is. What your perfect will for my life is. What your perfect will for my life is. Open your mouth and ask the Lord. Lord God Almighty, I call upon you tonight. Help me to walk in your will. Help me to walk in your will. Teach me your ways. Like Moses the Bible says, he turned short Moses' ways and he showed the children of Israel his act. I pray tonight, teach me your ways. Teach me your will. Help me to follow unto you, oh God. Help me to follow until I follow to know you, God. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord to help you to do his will. As the Lord will lay his hands on you, uh, that you will not walk, oh God, uh, according to your will, uh, but you will walk according to the will of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God Almighty, I pray, uh, help me to walk according to your will, uh, help me to walk according to your will, uh, not my will, God, uh, but your will be done, uh, not my will, uh, not the will be done, uh, not what I want, uh, but what you want, uh, not what I desire, uh, not what you desire. Uh, let me not walk in my own ways. Uh, let let me walk where you want me to walk. Let me seek what you want me to seek, oh God. Let my choice, let your choice be my choice. Let your desire be my desire. Let your heartbeat be my heartbeat. Lord God, help our, our will, oh God, to be in synchronism, oh God. Let my will synchronize with your will, God. In the name of Jesus, I surrender my will to you, God. I surrender my will to you, God. Help me not to walk in my own will. Let me follow you. Let me walk with you. Oh God, teach me your ways in the name of Jesus. Teach me, oh God, lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. In the name of Jesus, hold me with your right hand of righteousness that I will not go my own way. I will not sway. I will not be led astray. I will not backslide, God. I will not lose sight. I will not lose focus. I will not miss it. In the name of Jesus, help me, dear Father, not to miss it. Help me not to lose focus. Help me to walk in your will. Not my will, oh God, but your will. Because all things are possible unto you. So therefore I submit my will to you. Not my will, God, but your will. In the name of Jesus. Not my will, but your will. In the season, not my will, but your will. Help me to align myself according to your will. Help me to do your will. That which you require of me. That which you require of me. That which you require of me, oh God. Help me to walk in your will. Help me to do as you so please. Help me, oh God. That my life will bring glory to you. That my life will bring glory to you. That my life will bring glory to you, God. In the name of Jesus. My 
my desire is to do your will. My desire, oh God, is to do the will of him that has called me. Oh God, I'm just not to finish it, oh God. Keep my eyes focused on you. Look, God, I will not lose sight. I will not be distracted. I will not be led, led astray. Oh God, I will not lose focus. Lord God, Lord God, help me to submit my will to your will. Let your will be done in my life. Help me to walk according to your will, my God. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, help me to walk according to your will. In the name of Jesus, let me walk according to your will tonight. In the name of Jesus, concerning every area of my life, be it decision making, be it the place to live, the clothes to wear, the friends to keep, the house to buy, the job to apply for, the business to start. Let me walk in your will. Let me do according to how you lead me. God, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, because Jesus did the will of the Father, he endured the cross, he despised. Oh God, he was crucified. Now he resurrected. And because he walked according to the will of God, the Bible says that he's seated in, with God in heaven. He's seated at the right hand of at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Oh Lord God Almighty. Jesus was exalted because he walked in your will. He walked in your will. He not only walked in your will, he finished his assignment. Lord God, help us to walk in your will and to finish the calling upon our life and to finish the will that you have given unto us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God help us to walk in your will. Concerning every area of our life, be it academically, be it mati maritally, be it materially, be it professionally, be it physically, be it spiritually, be it uh, uh, otherwise academically, oh God, uh, in every area of our life, whatever it is, oh God, uh, help us to walk in your will. Uh, the way you will lead us, we will go. Uh, where you lead, we will follow the Father in the name of Jesus. Uh, concerning every area of our life, my God, my God. Uh, Help us to walk in your will. Nevertheless, oh God, not what we will, but your will be done. Concerning every area of our life, let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done. Sometimes we get sick neck. Sometimes we become stubborn. Sometimes we rebel, oh God. But let your will be done, oh God. Holy Spirit, the Bible says, when he, the spirit of truth, shall come, he will convict the world of sin, of judgment, and of righteousness. Holy Ghost, oh God, I commit your people to you, oh God, even when they tend to go astray, Holy Ghost, convict them, be on your back and call, and convict them to stay on the straight and the narrow road, in the name of Jesus, convict them to walk in the will of the Father, convict their heart, convict them of righteousness, convict them of judgment, convict them of sin, in the name of Jesus, when they want to turn to the left, when they want to turn to the light, power of God, oh God, speak to them. In any way you will communicate with them. Communicate with them to stay in the perfect will of God. That at the end of God they may enjoy. They may be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. In the name of Jesus we give you praise. Have a Father. Lord God I pray that you will keep them in your will. In the name of Jesus. Keep them in your will. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Keep them in your will. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I lift up your people before you. That you will keep them in your will. You will hold them in the right hand of your righteousness. You will lead them in the way, oh God, that they will walk in, oh God. That they will not lose sight. That they will not lose the mark. That they will run towards the mark of the high calling of God. In the name of Jesus. They will not be sidetracked. They will not be distracted. They will not be let go. They will not be easily beset, oh God. By those sin that does easily beset them. They will not be weighed down by those excess baggage, God. Help them to keep their eyes on you, oh God. That only your will for their life. For their destiny. Concerning the, concerning the, the person to marry. 
concerning the job, concerning the spouse, concerning the relationship. Let your will be done in their life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your hand lead them. Oh God, over around them, just like you were with the children of Israel, oh God. When they left Egypt, the Bible says that a pillar of cloud was with them by day and a pillar of fire by night. And so God, you will jealously guard the swans. In the name of Jesus, you will jealously guard them, oh God. That they will stay in your will. That they will stay according to your leading. In the name of Jesus, that your hand will be upon them for good. In the name of Jesus, that you will rest upon them. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, hold them with your right hand of righteousness and keep them in your will, God. Keep them in your will. Oh God, for you are able to keep that which is committed unto you. And so therefore I commit them into your hands. That you will keep them from falling. You will keep them from backsliding. You will keep them from missing the way. You will keep them from being distracted. You will keep them from losing focus. In the name of Jesus. And so therefore God I commend them to your word of grace. Which is able to build them up and give them an inheritance among them that are sanctified. In the name of Jesus. Lord God watch over them. Oh God watch over them. My God watch over them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba, Father. Father, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus, we give you honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, I'm going to open up the prayer line. If you have any prayer requests, just go ahead and type it in. And we're going to be agreeing with you. At this time, I'm going to open the, 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 the comments. You go ahead and type in your prayer request. And we're going to be praying for you. The Bible says, if any two shall agree as to touching anything as to touching anything any two any two will agree as to touching anything it shall be done unto them so right now whatever your prayer request is just type it in that we will agree with you in prayer see the, the good thing about it is that we are more than two we are more than two so we're going to be touching every every prayer request you have tonight. Just go ahead and type it in. And we're going to be praying for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody wrote here, Lord, I'm asking you to please let favor fall upon these two couples everywhere they turn in, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree, O oh God, that you will grant unto her according to her desire. In the name of Jesus, you will meet her at the point of their little ever she's referring to. Father, let your hand rest upon them. Let your favor go before them. Go ahead of them, oh God. Go above them, beneath them, all around them. That not only you will favor them, that men will favor them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will open doors for them, oh God. You will make a way where there seems to be no way. In the name of Jesus, that your hand will rest upon them for good by the power of the Holy Ghost that you will glorify yourself in their life and glory will be given to you through them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I thank you for their life that you will sustain them you will keep them you will watch over them in the name of Jesus thank you Abba Father in the name of Jesus hallelujah go ahead and type in your prayer request we're going to be agreeing with you at this atmosphere this atmosphere is right whatever it is you are asking the Lord is going to meet you at the point of your need right now in the name of Jesus the presence of the Lord is here. The anointing is here to meet you at the point of whatever your request is, whatever your desire is. The Bible says, trust him and he will bring it to pass. Isaiah and uh, Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, call upon me and I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. So open your mouth and type in, let us agree with you in prayer. See, this is prayer meeting. We come to intercede for our family, our friends, our lives, that we may be better Christians, better followers, better people of God, that men will see Jesus through us, that our life will be a reflection of whom we are serving. So right now, type in your prayer request so that we can agree with you. Lord God, I pray for your people tonight, sir, that you will teach them to follow you. That you will teach them to follow you. You will teach them that your will will be done upon their life in the name of Jesus. Somebody wrote here, he said, let us pray for the government of Antigua. Father, in the name of Jesus, we'll bring the government of Antigua into your hands.
For your words that we should pray for those that have authority over us. Lord God, we pray for the government of Antigua. We ask, O oh God, that your hand will be stretched forth towards them. That you will order every decision that they are going to be made. Holy Spirit, you can go where nobody can go. You can turn every heart where nobody can touch. For the Bible says, O oh God, that the heart of king is in your hands. Like water, you turn it into whatsoever direction you want, O oh God. Lord God, I place the heart of the government of Antigua into your hand. That you will touch them, O oh God. You will touch them. You will minister to them, O oh God. You will meet them, O oh God. You will give them an encounter of you, O oh God. That will make a decision, O oh God. That will bring glory to you, O oh God. They will lead, O oh God according because you have put them there oh God you have put them as the authority over them and you will direct them oh God Father that you will give them direction in how to govern this country in how to govern this nation in the name of Jesus Lord God guide them protect them oh God in the name of Jesus we decree oh God that every altar of darkness that is in government we command every altar to be silenced even right now every altar that is not of God we command the altar to be silenced by the power of the Holy Ghost I decree oh God that your salvation oh God will locate the people of the government in the name of Jesus uh, with the decree of God uh, the power of the most high oh God uh, will locate them for wherever they are in the name of Jesus uh, that you will touch their heart uh, you will minister unto them oh God uh, like King Ahasa oh God uh, you will give them no rest take away sleep from them oh God uh, until they encounter you oh God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, Lord God thank you oh God in Jesus name Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I am asking for the Lord to grant me my heart desire and let his will reveal in me. Hallelujah. Father, we we'll pray for your Amen. daughter tonight. I pray, O oh God, that you will grant her, her des the desires of her heart. For your word says in Psalm chapter 37, verse 4, He said, when we delight ourselves in the Lord, He will grant us the desires of our heart. I decree, dear Father, even as she delights herself in you, I pray, dear Father, that you will grant her the desires of her heart. Even as she trusts you also, you will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that she is believing you for, O oh God, you will bring it to pass right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, that your will, O oh God, will be done upon her life. Lord God, I decree, oh God, that your perfect will be revealed in her. Your purpose before the foundation of this world, your reason for creating her, oh God, will be manifested in her life in the name of Jesus, oh God, that she will fulfill her purpose in this earth. She will fulfill the reason why you created her, oh God, that every desire of her, oh God, you shall cause it to come to pass in the name of Jesus. You will meet her at the point of her need. Whatever it is, she's believing you, oh God, I use her as a point of contact to reach out for her family. Oh God, that you will bless them indeed. Keep them in perfect peace, oh God. Even as your mind has stayed on you, their Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody else have a prayer request. He said, please pray Amen. for me, especially my foot that is giving me problem and healing in my body. <laughs> Go ahead, man of God. Amen. Bless Amen. the name of the Lord. As you talk about foot, I'm just coming off the road, I am... Um, on the road from today, what time about after two I leave here today? Mm. Yes, yeah, so about after two. After three. Yeah. After three. Uh, okay, so after three I leave here today, and I um, went by one of you know our good member. I would not say any name, you know, and so on. Their foot has been, you know, giving some trouble. I have to pray for the foot and so on, but they drop. Amen. They drop and um, the foot has gotten a little damage and so I have to rush them to the hospital and so on so I was um, up and down I just got back in because I come earlier on but I have to take my daughter again and I have to leave you know and to go back to the hospital so I just mm -hmm. take them home and I am um, reach back amen but the Lord is great and I have good news that it is fine. It is well. God has done it. And when God do it, nobody can refuse it and Amen. nobody can reject it. Amen. Amen. So he has experienced his deliverance. Amen. I lay my hands on that foot and I proclaim healing in the name of Jesus because Amen. we understand that power is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I was out on the road all day. You know, we, we go to the morning, right? Yes, and I am... Um, you know move again amen so as you talk about praying for the foot amen yeah. we know that if god can do it for him god can do it 
for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I decree and I declare the same anointing that mm -hmm. raised Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. The same resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead. The same resurrection power that raised Lazarus. I decree and I declare that that power right now will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your foot will be ill now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke the infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I cancel it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Let every part of your body, ligaments, turn up. And let that foot be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I release the pain, every infirmity out of that foot. And I cover you under the blood also. Mm -hmm. Not only just your foot, but I cover your entire family mm -hmm. under the blood of Jesus Christ. And I said, you shall not die, you shall live and declare your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Receive the deliverance of God. Receive it now. Mm -hmm. Receive it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are welcome. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to Bless God. the name of God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Anyone else for prayer requests before we round up? Please go ahead and send in your prayer requests. Amen. So Amen. that we can pray for you and believe the Lord for your healing, for your deliverance, for your breakthrough, that he will grant you the desires of your heart. Go ahead and type in. We want to pray for you. We want to believe the Lord for you. Amen. And we know that when we believe the Lord for you, he's going to do it for you. Why not send up your prayer requests? Let us, let us lift it up to heaven. The Bible says that any two shall agree as to touching anything. We're going to be agreeing and touching on your, and praying on your your behalf that the Lord will meet you where you need meeting in the Amen. name of Jesus. So go ahead and send in your prayer request Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the meantime, Hallelujah. they are sending in their prayer request. I, I want to say, you know, today, you know, while I at the hospital and so on, I mean, that place locked down. When we say locked down, it locked down. Everybody in them gloves, everybody in them face masks and, you know, in them suit and so on. And, I was just there and thing, you know, me have my little face mask, but you know, me not no gloves and me not have nothing else. Me just there and me just say, Father, I, I, what should I do? And there's a song that come to me that say, I trust in God wherever I may go. Upon the land or on the roaring sea, O billows roar. He keeps my soul, my heavenly Father watches over me. I trust in him and I know, I said, look at these people, you know, I mean, the Avon, there's a lot of stuff and you're saying to yourself, my God, you know, what, what we can do but just lift our eyes to glory. And, you know, we want to bear every one of these nurses and doctor in, in our prayer because, you know, when I, when I was at the hospital, you know, even tonight there and I, and I see what they are going through, you know, it's not easy for them there, you know, because people coming in and, you know, so we have to bear them in prayer. Amen. They are human being like us. Amen. And they deserve prayer. Amen. For the wonderful work that they are doing there in the hospital. So when you um, leave tonight from the prayer line and you um, enter into your bed and you are meditating on the word of the Lord and you are praying, please to bear the nurses and the doctors in mind. Also the police officers, amen. amen, for they are doing a wonderful job, amen, here as spoke in about, Antigua. As you spoke about that, now for those of you that are listening to us under the sound of your voice, if you have family members that are nurses that are working in the health profession, why not just go ahead and type in their names so that we can lift them up? Yes. We're going to be praying for them no. in a few minutes. Yes. Why will those of you that have family members... Under the sound of my voice, I have family members that are working in the health sector. Yes. Why not just type in their name? Amen. If they are nurses, if they are doctors, if they are whatever they are in the ex health section, why not just type in their name so that we can bear them up in prayer tonight? Amen. As you write your name, we're going to take this prayer point. So my prayer request is for backsliders. 
for backsliders and for God's will to be done in my life. Lord, I just want to be used by you. So I'm going to be praying for this person. Say, pray for backsliders yes. and for God's will to be done in my life. So go ahead and pray, Amen. man of God. Father, I enter your throne room by grace. Amen. Through Christ Jesus. And I ask you, O oh God, to locate every backslider. Mm -hmm. Not only mighty God, one or two or three, but there's a lot out there, Father. And I pray wherever they're located, whether in Antigua or in the world, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus. that you will release your Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in their home, in their job, wherever they are at this time, Lord. I decree and I declare, for life and death is in my tongue. Mm -hmm. And I know according to the word of God. He says, no man can draw no man to God unless the Spirit of the Lord draw them. And so I'm asking you, Father, to release your Holy Spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and arrest all Amen. these backsliders, Amen. Father, and release your Spirit upon them Amen. and draw them into the kingdom of Amen. God. For in times like these, they need a Savior. I cover them under the blood. I cover them from every works and the plans Amen. of the enemy. I said, the enemy shall not locate their door Amen. or come to their dwelling. Amen. And the angel of the Lord shall have control over them. And the Spirit Amen. of the Lord shall enter and they shall be delivered and turn back from their backsliding spirit Amen. and give their heart to the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And also pray for that had the, that his will be done in her life too. Ooh. That's two prayer points she has there. Yeah. And the, the will of God be done in her life. Amen. Yeah. Father, I know, Lord, that if one of your word pass, heaven and earth shall pass away. And I know, Father, your word can never pass. <laughs> when you speak your word, Lord, it become higher than you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And so your word, mighty God, is all nay and nay. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this young daughter that you have, Lord. For every one of them is your young daughter. Amen. We are children in the sight of your Lord. Amen. And I decree and I declare right now that your will will be done upon our life according to your promise, according to your will that you have placed upon her even before the very foundation of the world. Amen. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ and decree also as a servant of God that that profound gift that assignment of God, that future, mighty God, that destiny that is upon your daughter life. Father, release it now in the name of Jesus. I release it by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Hallelujah. It is well. Keep bringing in the family members that are in the health sector. Somebody said, I want you to pray for my family and my daughter on front line in the UK. Kamara, Nadia, Donnell, Vernice. Amen. <coughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What a friend. We have in Jesus. What a precious friend. So complete. Amen. And so divine. Amen. Who could we call upon? Who could we bow down to? Who could we worship? Father, your, your people come because they know that you are the boss. Amen. They know Amen. that you are the ruler. They know Amen. that you are the conqueror. Amen. And, and they are asking for prayer, mighty God. So, and this prayer, they want it to enter into, into England, Amen. Father. Into the UK, Amen. Father. Father, because they know that prayer has no distance. Amen. They know, Lord, that you can be everywhere at the same time. Amen. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus... Amen. Everything that she asks for no Lord, Amen. I know bring it before you. Father, take fully control. Amen. Father, give her the desire of her heart. Amen. Bloom her roses. Amen. Let her roses be bloom again, Lord. Amen. And let mighty God, she stand like a tree that planted by the rivers of water, Amen. that bringeth forth her fruit in her seasons. Amen. And let her leaf don't wither. Amen. And whatsoever she have done, oh God, it shall prosper. Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are now releasing, mighty God, everything that she write on this internet now, Lord. Amen. Father, you have seen the word written there, Lord God. Amen. Father, as she written it, oh God, written deliverance all over, mighty God, from the UK to St. Kitts or wherever her family are, Father, in her life. Amen. Father, I thank you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Sister, Amen. Sister, get received my cousin in New York, Tashina David. She's a nurse. Amen. We pray for Tashina Davis. Davis. Kabawa kilaboso kutayaba. Letemandia katila basketo rakata. Father, kudisi kamaru keli kapalia. Lebosa katila bosho kutaya. I release war angels. And I release protection angels. And I release deliverance angels to enter into the U.S. now, Lord. And to begin to arrest every mighty God spirit that would have encountered around that medical place. Father, and try to Find new world to enter, Father. Father God, we release the blood of Jesus Christ upon your daughter. Mm -hmm. So that when the enemy passing through, oh God, he can't see her because she's under the blood. Mm -hmm. Father, she's into the medical field. And Father, we want you, mighty God, not only to take care of her, but every one of the people that is around her, mighty God. Father God, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you will now release deliverance, release protection, release grace, Lord God Almighty, Katorabai, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. amen. and amen. amen, bless the name of the Lord. Mary Rosemary say, pray for Krista and Wesley Charles and amen. their two kids. Amen. Pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll bring Krista Way and Wesley Charles and their children before you. Father, you know every situation. You know everything. Lord God, our life is in your hands because you hold our future. Our life is what you are living because you live. Father, because of your death and resurrection and because you reign forever, I decree, O oh God, that you will watch over this one. I decree, O oh God, that you build a bloodline round about them. I decree, O oh God, that no evil shall come near them. Neither any plague they are dwelling, but only with their eyes shall they behold and see the report of their enemy. I release a bloodline round about them, right about their mind, right about their home, their children. Everything that pertains to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I release over the angel of the Lord to watch over them, oh God, that they will not dash their foot against the stone in the name of Jesus. That you will sustain them, you will keep them in perfect with even as their mind is stayed on you, oh God. You are the crew, oh God, that you will grant their desires of God, that you will bless them indeed, enlarge them on every area, oh God. Meet them where they need meeting, oh God. Heal them where they need healing, oh God. Meet them at the point of their needs, their father, and sustain them, I pray in Christ Jesus. Oh Let your blood God. begin to speak for them uh, even right now oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Sister Phoebe said, My mother Elizabeth Reed in England oh, and my cousin Erica Dixon in Antigua working in the earth Amen. Father, in the name ah, of Jesus, I bring. God. Miss Elizabeth Reed in oh, England. And, and I also bring Erica Dixon Madosa working in the health center before you Lord and present them to you, oh God. Italia. No other place to oh commit them than in your mighty oh hand. Jesus. I commit them before you and oh I ask of them, Father, that you will keep Bless them, oh God. Father. That you will sustain oh, them. Oh, that you will watch over them, oh God. You will build an edge of protection round about them, round about their mind, oh God. And the crew, oh God, the enemy will not play in their mind, oh God. I rebuke every mind control in the name of Jesus. Every misconception, every spoken word, oh God, every plague around them will command them to be surmounted by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that the enemy they see today they will see no more by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh God. That when they see the blood, they will pass over it, and the free, oh God, that destruction shall not come near them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that you will lay your hands upon them, that the blood of Jesus will speak for them, speak on their behalf, oh God. Will fight for them, will sustain them, will watch over them. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, with the creed of blood of the protection round about him, oh God, even right now in the name of Jesus, and with the clear, oh God, that it has worked with them by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God, oh Jesus, oh bless your name, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Sister, get you say, Shana, Akia, Kima, my cousin, the nurses in Philadelphia. Lord God, I bring Akia, oh yes, Shana. Kima oh in Philadelphia God. before oh, you. Lord God, you know that they are in the forefront of fighting this virus. Lord God, 
I pray, oh God, that you will keep them. You will keep them from the harm and the destruction of the coronavirus. In the name of Jesus, oh God. That when men are crying that there is a casting that they will say that there is a lifting of Your hand of protection will be upon it and every, every virus that will come on their body, oh God, shall die by reason of the blood of Jesus that is speaking on their behalf. In the name of Jesus. That when they come in contact with the virus, the virus, oh God, will be melted, will die in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, that you will watch over them, oh God. My for your words, that you will bless your water Jesus, and you will bless your bread, uh, that none of these diseases of the Egyptians shall come to them. Uh, uh, I decree, oh God, Jesus, that none of these diseases shall come to them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, sustain them, keep them, oh God, that they will come up victorious uh, to the glory of your name uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Bless Hallelujah. the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to be praying for every one of okay. you tonight. Tanisha Williams, Amen. please pray for my mother, Lauren Morris. She's a nurse and a caretaker. Amen. Lauren Morris, I pray for you. Amen. I now look at you from a distance Amen. in the realm of the Spirit. Amen. And I now rest my hands on you through the realm of the Spirit. Amen. And I decree and I declare that Amen. no plague shall come near your dwelling. Amen. For the Lord thy God shall give his angel charge over you Amen. to keep you in all your ways. Amen. I enter into the scripture that says you were wounded for his transgression. Amen. You were bruised for his iniquity. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. Was upon you. And by your stripes. And by your stripes. She were healed. She were healed. Lord Jesus. Amen. Father. Amen. You are the one who bruise. Amen. You are the one, oh God, who take the strife. Amen. You are the one who feel the pain. Amen. Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. So no one have no legal rights to touch that woman. Amen. I decree and I declare that nothing shall come near you. Amen. But the Lord thy God shall release protection angels around you. Amen. And the Holy Spirit will continue to be your comforter. Amen. And you shall be well. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We are, we are so glad to have Hallelujah. everyone here. Amen. 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 And um, also tomorrow, I'm going to be coming on tomorrow. And I'm um, going to be saying a few things tomorrow. Amen. Amen. And so on. Because, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that... Um, you know, we want to say because of everything that is going on, amen, and um, amen. so many people getting blamed for this thing, amen. I am telling you, and um, God never give you a spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind, and so I want you to not be in fear, amen. I want you to fear not, for God is with you, amen. and if God is with you, who can be against you? You see, when the disciples was in the ship with Jesus, Jesus was going cross and he was going to be encountering the man with the legions. And so the demons, Satan, in release mm -hmm. a storm. Mm -hmm. And the storm begin to, that wind begin to Rock the ship. Mm. Now, remember that even though Jesus was in the ship, the ship was still rocking. Yeah. And the storm was still blowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, and some people will say, where is God? And is God do this and God do that? And this is that and that is that. But at the end of the day, you have to realize, even though the disciples were afraid, mm -hmm. because they didn't understand, you know, that look, Jesus is not sleeping. He's always there. He's always awake. God is and so fear begins to come upon them. But you have to understand it's the same thing that is going on here. We are like the, the disciples that were in the ship. And we understand that Jesus Christ around this world. Why are we afraid? The Bible says, He that is in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things become new. We are in Christ. And when we are in Christ, then there is nothing can stop us. Amen? So let us remove the fear. And so I'm going to be talking to 
everyone tomorrow. And I pray that you will share. I will settle something in the morning to say what time I will be coming on. Amen. Amen. I will get up early in the morning and rush down to the church, make sure everything is all right. And then I will come back home. And then I will um, fix myself and prepare myself to come on. Amen. And I want you to know that we love you all. And we will continue to love you all and bless you all. Amen. Anybody else for prayer before we um, you um, know, get into sister, a different place? Sister Dawn says, I want you to pray for her. Well, to pray for her family. Pray. I want you to pray for family group here in Mount Shrads. Amen. I pray for Sister Dawn in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sister Dawn, my spiritual daughter. Uh, bless the name of the Lord. We love you so much. And I want you to know that we pray for every one of the groups them there in Montserrat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, whether they are putting out good or they are putting out bad, I want to just pray for them, Lord. And I pray that if they are putting out bad, Lord, they will change it to good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And if they are doing good, Lord, let them continue to Amen. do good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We cover Montserrat in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. We build a fence around them in the name of Jesus Christ. All of my children that is over there, oh God, I cover them in Amen. the name of Jesus, Amen. Father. As we prepare in the ground in Montserrat, mighty God, for the revival of Christ followers Hallelujah. to land in there, mighty God. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will cover your servants, mighty Amen. God, as we prepare him for the work in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, you will hold him with a right and mighty God, and you will make his stand, mighty God, in humility in the mighty mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father God, we cover every one of them, every one of the groups, mighty God, dear in mighty God, monstrous, oh God, everyone that I have connected with and also who I don't connect with, oh God, even the prime minister over there, the, everybody in, in government, I cover them, the nurses, the doctors, the, the everyone, teachers, everybody, Lord God, we cover them under the blood, Amen. Lord Amen. Jesus, and we say it is done, and we cover Amen. Sister Dawn under the blood, we cover her children, we cover her home, her business, mighty God, under the blood, in Jesus' name, amen. amen and amen. For those of you that are just joining us, we're taking prayer requests. Amen. And whatever your prayer request is, you just type it in amen. and we'll pray for you shortly before. Amen. We amen. Because we're warming up to, go to, to leave right amen. now. Amen. Amen. So if you have two minutes, just put in amen. your prayer request Bless and we're going to pray for you Lord. quickly. And God bless you. We really appreciate you for joining us tonight. Uh, we see all your love. We see all your appreciation. We want to say thank you. And God bless you all so much for the support. We want to thank you for the for everything. And we covet your prayers. Even as we pray for you, we ask God that you will lift up us and pray for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For those of you that see our prayer requests, we're opening the line one more time. Go ahead and type in your prayer request. But if not, we can as well pray. Amen. And call it a night. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to say also, amen. Um, one of the things also that um, you can do is um, send out some information for me, dear babes, um, so that they can um, know what to do. Amen. And we know that um, the bills have to pay. Amen. Oh, yeah, I see and um, I believe my wife already do that while I was out. Amen. But um, I just want to let you know, if you want to... Um, donate into the ministry amen you can do so amen because we are looking for great things amen right now we are looking for a very 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 nice camera amen very nice camera to take pictures for the ministry and we also looking for a video camera amen you know nice thing that can hook and that is video you know just videoing and still doing all the social media at the same time something is you know um that is very good and so if you have one ah please in the name of jesus you know how to reach me amen and um i am praying that um you will um you know look into what i'm saying and the lord will definitely do what he has to do amen, amen. if you want to show your offering or your tithes amen as we always says one them from um, antigua you can um keep it and show it at your local church amen, amen. and um if you want to sow you can amen. go to paypal amen. and you can type in um junior osborne one 
at msn.com amen and you can donate there amen we mm -hmm. are so thankful for your gift amen and um if you don't have paypal then and and you have zell amen you are in the us or canada or england or you know wherever over the world be and you have zell or you have um cash up amen you can type in dave osborne ministries or you can type in 347-981-3197 and you can give your gift there. Amen. Amen. And it would be highly appreciated. Amen. Also, you can go to Amazon and you can get our books there. Amen. Amen. Right now, you it's very important for you to try and get the book called um, Prior Amen. Diary power to conquer. Amen. Amen. Because that book is all prior. Amen. You want to know prior? Please get that book. Amen. And you will know. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. You just go into Amazon and you can just type in Dave Osborne, Prayer Diary, Power to Conquer. Amen. We are going to put up the information there as well mm -hmm. so you can get it. Amen. Or you can go to my website. My website is DaveOsborneMinistries.org. Amen. Or Christ's Followers Deliverance Ministry. That org, amen. And you can find a lot of materials there, amen. amen. And as we put up the videos, they actually go straight to the website, amen. amen. And so you can watch them there. And amen. please remember to um, go to YouTube and watch all the latest videos that is going up and subscribe, amen. So that when you subscribe, when we put up fresh videos, you'll be notified that we put up fresh videos so you can get um, the notification and you can go there and watch fresh videos from your people. Amen. And subscribe. You have to subscribe. Amen. Amen. We are very important that you subscribe. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And we are looking forward. Amen. That when church opened back, you know, well, when the assembly opened back, because we are the church. And I always preach that, that we are the church. And the assembly, the building, when we come back together to worship, Lord. Mm -hmm. the, the, the songwriter said, what a wonderful thing, a what a wonderful thing, thing to be free sin. from sin and of Christ within. Just to be a volunteer with Jesus, my Lord. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. I mean, it's going to be such a wonderful thing that we are free from sin. We are just, just marveling ourselves and marveling ourselves and just dabbling ourselves in the presence of the Lord. And we're greeting each other again, hugging each other again and loving upon each other and praising the Lord. Amen. I know that is going to be a wonderful time. I mean, you know how it feels now that we are not together in the assembly to worship the Lord together and to laugh and talk together. No, when, when this time come back, we have to learn to appreciate it. We have to learn to appreciate it. Because you see when these, take, these things taken away from us, you see how it can be, right? We, we, even though we are here, but we want to still communicate together, seeing each other eye to eye, face to face. You know, and that has been taken away a bit because of circumstances beyond our control. Amen. And I say that because nobody knows, you know, and so we cannot speculate. Amen. Amen. We have to know the truth because the truth will set us free. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so I want to let you know that we are looking for that time to come. Amen. Amen. I know someone right me and she said, I'm um, prophet, you know, I'm waiting to be delivered and so on. And um, I know that, um, you know, the place closed down. And I said, yes, we are. We closed down for now. Amen. Um, the deliverance section that we do every Wednesday from 10 in the morning till 3 o'clock. You know, and so we tell people from overseas, if you are coming to Antigua for deliverance, um, you have to get in touch with us because we have to um, give you further dates, amen, so that you can come, amen, and the people who locally, you know, you will get, um, as you follow the Facebook, follow our page and everything, you I follow all the social medias that we are on, you will know when um, that segment will be open back to accommodate people for deliverance mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. and um, i'm so excited for the last lady that has been delivered before the close down okay. oh my god i'm telling you god move mightily and i'm so thanking god for that woman amen mm -hmm. that lady was bound and trapped for almost 25 years 
Amen. But the Lord has come true for her. Amen. Amen. Break the barriers. Amen. Amen. And Amen. set her free. Amen. And I'm so excited for Amen. her. Amen. And now she's rejoicing. And so they are alive will be delivered amen? amen you just have to wait upon the lord amen, amen. he said you that wait upon the lord shall renew yes. their strength and they shall amen. mount up with wings like an eagle amen so the lord bless you so much we are going to close in prayer amen and then we are going to leave you amen and we will catch you back for bible study on Thursday night. 30 years, Papa. Somebody told it's not 25, it's 30. It's 30 years. Jesus. Ah, somebody just. Yes, it's 30 years. My God. Yes, 30 years. You know, some of the time, many things going through my brain with a lot of deliverance. I'm not even remembering the people. Some things just come in my brain. I said it, you know, and so on. And that woman was bound for 30 years. Yes, 30 years. I, I sure it's one of my daughter who was there, I mean, and saw the deliverance and see what, oh my God, that was a deliverance. Amen. Oh my God. I mean, the devil, mighty God, lose the buckle. I'm so excited. Amen for that lady. Amen. After 30 years of bound. Amen. And the devil is so dangerous. The, de the devil said that he have, he have set a madman to eat her in her belly. And, and, and when he eat her in she belly, she immediately the child in the belly become mad when he, the child come mad when the child born. I have to command the enemy to let go the woman and let go the children. Oh my, oh my God. I'm telling you, we have to serve the Lord. And we have to know that the enemy is not playing with us. So we have to be strong. Amen. It is a very serious thing, a very serious world we are living in. Amen? Amen? So we are thanking God for what he has done for that family. Amen? And we are praying that when um, the government open back the country and everyone is free to come and worship again and everybody free to go at, and do their daily life and the activities, we will be able to avail ourselves so that Many more people can be delivered mm -hmm. from anywhere over the world they come from. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't think about races. We don't think about nothing. We call and we don't think about that. Once you come and you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, we're going to take you through deliverance, and you will be free. Mm -hmm. Amen. We don't matter which denomination mm -hmm. you're from. Mm -hmm. We don't deal with denomination. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't deal with that. We deal with the Spirit of the Lord, mm -hmm. the the one that says. For God so loved the world. Hallelujah. Amen. He loves all of us. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the and Lord. One more thing. If you want to talk to the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, you can either send him a prayer request on prophetdaveosborne at gmail.com yes. or you could call him on the local line 1268 yeah. 723-7707. Amen. Or you can call him through the WhatsApp number 347-981- 3197. Amen. Again, the local number 723-7707. And the WhatsApp number is 347-981-3197. God bless you and Amen. we really appreciate you. Amen. And thank you all for joining us tonight. And have Amen. a blessed night and remain in the hands of the Lord. We we'll love you all and God bless you Amen. and God loves you most. Amen. Let me sing a little song for them and then we pray and then we enter out. Amen. Amen. He said, It soon be done All the trouble and trial When I get home On the other side I'm gonna shake my hand with the elders I'm gonna tell all the people good morning I'm gonna sit down beside my Jesus I'm gonna sit down and rest a little while It'll soon be done All the trouble and trials When I get home On the other side I'm gonna shake my hand with the elders I'm gonna tell all the people good morning I'm gonna sit down beside my Jesus I'm gonna sit Sit down and rest a little while. Babes, I realize that you are singing it in Africa different. Yeah, sing, yeah. sing it your way now. Sing it your way. I don't know it. You don't know it your way? No. Okay. It'll soon be done. All the troubles and trials. When I get home on the other side, 
I'm gonna shake my hands with the elders. I'm gonna tell all the people good morning. I'm gonna sit down beside my Jesus. I'm gonna sit down and rest a little while. That is the Jamaican way and the Caribbean way. Amen. You gotta learn it this way. Glory to God. Amen. It is a pleasure to have you all here on social media. Amen. Looking forward to seeing you on Thursday night, 7 30 sharp. Amen. If Jesus starts, yes. God bless you. Amen. So much. Father, I now release a prophetic fire of health and wealth and strength and prosperity upon your people right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Father, I cover them with this pastoral anointing on my life from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet. Mm -hmm. Father, I release a mantle mighty God of fever, maburi kiti la in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Receive it now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen. and so shall it be Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Love, love you. you. Love Bye. you. Bye -bye. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.